Tap on your already active tool to access the brush menu. In addition to basic brushes and tools, there's a brush market where you can find various kinds of brush packs for both line work and texturing. To unlock a pack, you can buy it directly from this menu as a one-time purchase, or if you've subscribed to the Everything plan, all brush packs are unlocked and can be used across your devices. Our market brushes are what we call vector raster hybrids, which means they look like a raster brush, but remain adjustable. In practice, they can be sliced and nudged like any other vector. The color, size, and smoothness can also be adjusted fully. You can also select and transform them. With automatic layering on, Market brushes are usually placed on a custom layer, unless assigned otherwise. More about that in another video. Since these elements are created using pixel-based images like stamps and grain, they may appear pixelated when zoomed in closely, unlike true vector brushes. The only place this might get in your way is if you are designing giant-sized posters where massive resolution is required. Many of these brushes can be tweaked using the brush editor, which is currently only available on Apple devices but is coming to Windows and Android. Open the brush menu and select any brush. Then either tap it again to edit or tap edit brush up here. This opens the brush editor where you can make changes like scaling the grain or texture of the brush. There are a lot of customization options here, so I'll walk through this in another video. For now, just know that any changes you make can always be reset to its original state using the button up here. If you want to save a copy of this brush, tap Duplicate and preserve each version. You can also rename this version by tapping on the brush name. Back in the brush menu, the copy has appeared at the end of this pack. You can also access some basic commands in the menu with a tap and hold.